This video demonstrates how to use EMISWeb's online visibility options in consultations and care history to restrict visibility of certain content from the patient when they view their medical record online. Firstly, we'll look at online visibility in consultations. From the 1st of April 2020, everything added into a consultation from that date will automatically be visible by the patient online. It's possible to restrict that visibility so the consultation is completely hidden. To do this, from within the consultation that you're adding, click on the online visibility option in the ribbon. This shows two options with the status that's currently applied to this consultation already ticked. So we can see here that this consultation will display on the patient's online care record. To hide this consultation online, simply select do not display. When you save the consultation, you'll see in the consultation history that this icon indicates that that consultation is not visible online. If you want to restrict access to a consultation that you or somebody else has added previously, you don't have the option in the ribbon, but you can right click on the consultation header and select online visibility and then do not display. To change a restricted consultation back to being viewable online, you can right click, select online visibility again and then opt to display. The option makes the whole consultation visible or not visible. It's not possible to select only some elements of a consultation to restrict visibility in this way. However, if you want to change the online visibility of a single code, whether it was added in a consultation or not, this can be done through care history. So if we look at this code for victim of domestic violence in the consultation of the 22nd of Feb, at the moment, this consultation is fully visible online. If I go into care history now, where all the data on the patient's record is displayed, find that code on the 22nd of February, select it, right click, choose online visibility and opt to not display on the patient's online care record. We can see here the icon now shows that this code is not visible online and if we return to the consultation history page we'll see that individual code within the consultation is now restricted. It's also possible to make documents not visible online by selecting their entry. A few things worth remembering. Firstly, Online visibility has no impact on the content of your summary printouts. If something's not visible online, it will still be included in a summary printout. Confidentiality policies will not impact online visibility. Confidentiality policies will restrict access to data by users of the system, but data protected by confidentiality policies will still be visible online unless it's restricted by the online visibility option. A record transferred via GP2GP will not include any online visibility restrictions that you put onto it. So you may wish to implement local procedures regarding advising a practice to which a patient is moving of any restrictions that are in place. Hopefully other practices will also share this information with you for your incoming patients. And lastly, what about the shared record? Other health service information that you can view through the shared record on EMIS will not be accessible unless you have chosen to file that data directly into your GP record. So, in summary, you can opt to make a complete consultation not visible online, or you can opt to make a single entry not visible online in care history. From the 1st of April 2022, you need to be aware that everything you add to a patient's record from that point onwards will automatically be visible online. If you want items not to be visible, you'll need to use the online visibility options to do this. The associated resources accompanying this video bundle include a link to the NHS digital site, which gives full information on wider aspects and issues that you'll need to be aware of.